Okay, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for RC Hibbler's Engineering Mechanics Statics. So we have this problem from chapter two here, which is asking uh, express the position vector RAB in Cartesian vector form, then determine its magnitude and co uh, coordinate direction angles. So just kind of looking at this problem statement here, it's almost like we have three different sections to it. We've got uh this this cartesian vector form idea so it's asking us to ex express this vector here in in cartesian vector form which i'm trusting you guys are familiar with already uh, it's magnitude and uh, coordinate direction angles and um, so let's take each part of this problem one by one um cartesian vector form how might we we determine uh that well, evidently, we, we, we might want to find its i, j, and k components or its x, y, and z components, same thing. Um, using the diagram here, this is very simple. It's, it's, it's very self-explanatory. So we could say, we could say uh, r, a, b, comma, x. Uh, that's describing how far in the x axis it goes. So... Evidently, it travels three meters here and then another three meters here. Uh, we can say it's minus six, minus six, because um, the diagram is suggesting to us that that towards us is kind of the positive x direction here. So it's it's x component is minus six. Uh, R A B comma Y. Let's have a look. So evidently, it's traveling two meters and then four meters. So this is uh, going to be six and R A B comma z. Uh, let's have a look. So it looks like it travels three up off the ground, essentially. So that's going to take a value of three. OK, it, it, we kind of have everything we need here to, to, to show this in, in Cartesian vector form. We could say, say then R A B uh, with this underbar to show that it's a vector is equal to uh, minus six i uh, plus 6j uh, plus 3k. And that's our solution to our, our, the first part of this problem here. Determine its magnitude. So how might we do that? Well, we can just use Pythagoras' theorem for something like that. So that would look something like this. The magnitude of RAB equals the square root of um, 6 squared plus 6 squared plus 3 squared, which when I bang in my calculator, I find gives me a value. Ah, I haven't got my notes with me. I'm going to have to do this in my, in my head. Um, <laughs> 36, uh, 72, uh, 81. Okay, it's going to take a value of 9. Um, okay, and it's coordinate direction angles. Uh, so when it's asking for coordinate direction angles here, um, what it's referring to really is uh, this idea that I've put in the bottom left here, where alpha uh, is describing the angle of the vector with the x-axis. So it's going to be um, kind of this angle here. Um, beta is describing the angle with the y-axis. So it's going to kind of be this angle here and, 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 and gamma with the, the z axis. So it's going to, if I imagine drawing a z axis from, from A here, it would be this angle here. OK. Um, and we have the kind of formulae for those uh, direction angles given here. Let's write this out then. Uh, so we can say that the cos of alpha is going to be equal to um it's x component over its its magnitude so its x component is minus six its uh its magnitude is nine uh we can therefore say that alpha in this case is equal to if we take the inverse uh, cost of both sides here we can say that alpha is equal to the inverse cost of minus six over nine When we bung in this in that calculator, we get a value of something like 132 degrees. Um, 
Using the exact same process, we can say beta in this instance is equal to the inverse cos of uh, 6 over 9, which when we bring in our calculator gives us a value, let me just check my notes, of 48.2 degrees. And for gamma, we can say this is the inverse cos of uh, 3 over 9 in this case. So 3 over 9 here. When we bung that in our calculator, that gives us a value of 70.5 degrees. Okay, so looks like we have uh, our Cartesian form, we have our magnitude, and we have our uh, uh, coordinate direction angles here. So if you have any questions or comments about that problem, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.